everyone, I am here today to share about a wonderful art history video series that I am completely in love with. It is High Gatsby Art History Video Series, and I was able to receive a three-month subscription to this program. I am so impressed with this program that when my daughter uses it for homeschool, I have to be in the room too because I am just so curious. Um, if you're wondering how they got their name, hi Gatsby. Uh, Gatsby is actually the little paint drop right here. It is his name, but it is an acronym. Um, hi Gatsby stands for Have I Got a Story for You. And I can't wait to show you everything about this and why I love it so much. Um, I want to go ahead and say that I did receive a free copy of this product through the Homeschool Review Crew in exchange for my honest review. I wasn't required to write a positive review, and I wasn't compensated in any other way. All opinions I've expressed in my own are those of my family, and I'm disclosing this in accordance with the FTC regulation. Okay, so again, um, they are High Gas Fee, the art history video series, and I was able to get a three-month subscription to their program. Um, for regular subscribers, you would go to, right here, highgasfee.com. And you would be able to go ahead and go in here and sign into your subscription. So she has it where you can um, be a school, where you can be an individual or homeschool, where you can rent and purchase individual videos. But because I did get this for free um, with the Homeschool Review Crew, instead of being able to sign in to show you an account for me, um, I received a PDF with the links to all the videos so that I have ample time to be able to use them. So I wanted to go ahead and show you um, one of, well, part of one of the videos. Um, this is the lesson that Mary did today, and it was really interesting. Um, she's been learning about Monet, and now we have finally moved on to the next artist. What I really love about this program, please forgive my computer, it's kind of laggy. Um, but what I really love about this program is it really makes art come alive. Um, the entire point to learning art history is to learn how to enjoy art. And honestly, I'm not going to lie, every year um, I have used art history. Let me pause this really quick. Um, every year I have used art history programs with Mary in homeschool. And every single year we have been very disappointed in how they've come out because most of the art history programs for homeschool come in PDF format and you are expected to print it out and make a binder and then the kids are able to look at the pictures, read a little bit about the artist for um, the day and decide if they like the art or not. Um, why I don't like that method is because you can't get close enough to a printed out picture to really see if you like that picture or to even see detail. There's no way. You would have to have a magnifying glass and even that doesn't work. And then you're not having someone actually explain anything to you. You're just learning just a little bit about the, I mean, sorry, the artist. So, like, what were they thinking? What are some points in the painting that maybe they liked or what you like as the person that's looking at the painting? Being able to look at a binder is not the best way to learn art history. And how I really like high gas fee is because they tell a story. Every video is narrated by Miss Beth and she is an amazing teacher. She tells stories about the artist that make you remember and she zooms in to pictures so close that you can see fine detail that you would not have been ever able to see if it was just on a printed page. So I want to go ahead and press play for this one. Um, this is episode six, and this was Mary's episode today. 
and I'm really impressed, so I want to go ahead and show you a little bit on how you would actually use this program. If you were actually um, a subscriber, then you would log into the subscription part on the site, and you would access these videos on the site. But again, I have a list of the links that I'm using so that I had ample time to be able to review this program. So you would actually find these on their site. So this is episode six, and it is about Impressionism. And here comes Gatsby. This is Gatsby, the little paint guy. And they truly do have a story for you. You'll remember every one of them. This lesson is about Camille Pizarro. Oh, sorry, Miss Beth. I can't hear you very well. What are you listening to? I found the coolest music. It's from the Caribbean. It's so much fun to dance to. Well, you're definitely busting some good moves. What? Um, you definitely have some interesting moves. Oh, no need to yell, Miss Beth. I can hear you just fine. It is funny you're listening to Caribbean music. I was just doing some research on our next Impressionist artist, Mr. Pizarro, and he was from the Caribbean also. Really? Well, hello, Mr. Pizarro. He probably has some great moves, too. Well, I wouldn't know about that. Is the Caribbean near France? No, it's not near France at all. But I thought you told me Impressionist art started in Paris, France. I am so confused. I know. It's okay. Because have I got a story for you. The Caribbean islands lie right off the southeast corner of the United States. It's actually a chain of islands or a bunch of little islands put together. And throughout hundreds of years, different countries have colonized or gone and claimed those different islands. You will see up towards the top of the chain, there's a group called the Virgin Islands. Christopher Columbus named them that. And if you look at our map, you'll see that one set is called the British Virgin Islands. And the other set is called the U.S. Virgin Islands. We didn't always own them. In fact, we didn't purchase them until around World War I when we needed a safe harbor for our ships to dock. Now, before the Danish sold that island to the United States, they had sent a lot of people there. They wanted them to set up communities, to set up shops and trade. And so a Jewish couple had immigrated into the Virgin Islands. I wanted to stop right here. Um, so how it starts, every lesson starts with story time. And through each story from Miss Beth, you're going to learn about the artist. And you're going to learn so much about them that just watching the video is educational enough, even without any kind of lesson plan. Um, she tells the story of each artist, and she will continue um, usually into the next lesson sometimes about the artists and sort of leave you hanging and you're like, oh no, I want to I want to watch the next one, I'm going to have to wait now. But it starts with story time and she shows you pictures and she shows you artwork and I want to try to skip ahead real quick so that I can show you how she actually shows some artwork. Um, and some of these I wanted to show, okay, here's one. This one right here is a painting. You can see that there's a plaza in the background. It was one that Camille was very familiar with. 
He had been there often, so he knew that people would come into the center of the city to buy and sell services and goods. And so he decided to do a painting on it. It was a beautiful, clear day. You see the sky is very blue, not a cloud in the sky. And Camille also had a very good handle on perspective. That means making things that are far away look far away, and things that are up close look up close. You can see the church steeple in the very back. And as you come down the pain, you're... This is part of my favorite part, how she is able to zoom in to show fine detail that you just don't have the ability to see on paper. Um, you can even make the screen bigger and you could zoom in even more. And I love how she explains where the light comes from, the details of the painting, just everything about it. She even shows the smallest details, like she would eventually show even this lady who's carrying a water jug on the on the top of her head. Overall, I am so impressed with this entire program. Um, each lesson is around 20-something minutes long, and then also included, um, not every lesson will have this, but on highgasfee.com you are also able to go in and see your curriculum bundle. Um, I'm just trying to get it up real quick. Okay, so when you go over here to your subscription sign-in, you can sign in to um, your video subscriptions, but you also sign into your curriculum bundle. And your curriculum bundle are lesson plans that go with almost all the lessons. Not all of them will have one, but they most of the time they do. So Renaissance lesson plans, this is a game named that Renaissance Artist, and then flashcards. So you have these for each of these. Um, and then you have Baroque, Impressionist, which is what um, we start with, and that's what we're on right now. And then Post-Impressionist lesson plans. And you have everything that you need for these. And they open up as PDFs. And right here, like this one was Lesson 8, and this is it's telling you to watch the video that I had up. So it gives you the objectives, suggested activity. You can pick one or you can do all of them. It doesn't matter. Um, you have... Uh, critical thinking questions. Please forgive my computer. It is so laggy, so I'm going to try to get off some of these links that are up here just because I'm having a hard time even scrolling right now. Okay, So you have critical thinking. And then you have vocabulary words too, I love this, so that you can actually understand um, some of the words if you don't understand them, which she has um, narrated in the story. Then you have writing, then you have history, and you have geography. You have all kinds of things in each PDF, and this PDF is 77 pages long. And this one is just the Impressionist series. So I'm you don't even have to use the lesson plans if you don't want to. But if you do, your kids are going to get even more out of this. Um, I am just so impressed with this. I think that all art history programs should be just like this through High Gas Fee. This was the perfect program to be able to implement into homeschool to really get Mary loving art. She already loves art. But this is perfect to really get to know art and artists and have a true love for art history. Um, if you want to check them out, again, they are highgasfeed.com. Um, if you want to go ahead and check out the other crew reviews, go to homeschoolreviewcrew.com. And I implore you to check out the rest of everyone's reviews. Some will be videos like this, and then some will be actually um, blog posts. And I definitely would suggest anybody getting this for their school, um, either their classroom or their homeschool. It really captures your attention, and kids are going to love high gas fee.